Greetings, Detective. I am Winston Mulgrave, presumably the last resident of Mulgrave. Hey guys, it's Stephanie, Reviews Editor for TVandLust.net, here to bring you a review for Mystery Case Files, The Mulgrave Incident, which is available for the Nintendo Wii. Now, the Mystery Case Files series has made a name for itself on the PC with numerous retail and digital releases. Back in 2008, the series made its first appearance on a handheld with Mystery Case Files Millionaire for the Nintendo DS. Mulgrave Incident shares the same premise as the DS game, but it does offer some new gameplay elements and a lot more content. In the vial. Wealthy inventor Winston Mulgrave has called you to his island to hunt down this medicine, which is basically just purple dust, but it is something special because it's known to cure all ailments. And he needs your help because his wife Sarah has fallen ill and he wants to get her better. Along the way, as you're helping Mr. Mulgrave with his incident by collecting this purple dust, you'll uncover some interesting history behind the island. Now, I really wasn't looking for anything when it came to the story, but I was pleased with the final outcome. The story was enjoyable. The Mystery Case File series is generally known as hidden object or I spy type of games. And while all of this is evident in Mulgrave Incident, a majority of the game is a first person point and click adventure. The hidden object aspect of the game is very basic. You'll just be looking at still images and finding objects that the game asks you to find. It's that simple. The controls are very simplistic. All you have to do is use your Wii remote to scroll through the image, you click on the item and that's it. But I will say that some of the objects are hidden really well, but I never felt frustrated because of the hint system. The hint system is very easy to use. You can use it as many times as you can. You just have to wait for your magnifying glass to recharge, but after that you can use it over again and there aren't any penalties for using it. The point and click aspect of the game is just average. I mean, there really isn't anything special there. It feels like you're guided through the game on rails since you don't have the control of clicking to any part of the environment and walking there. And that's a little disappointing because I actually found the island to be interesting and I wanted to explore a little bit more but because of this restraint I wasn't able to. Some of the items that you find throughout the hidden object part of the game will actually help you solve some of the environmental puzzles throughout the island. There's also some light-hearted puzzle solving that you need to do in order to progress through the game. Most of the puzzles in the game are very simplistic, yet there are some puzzles that are challenging and a little tricky, but it was really fun to try to solve those puzzles. And I also enjoyed all of the puzzles in this game just because it was a nice change of pace. Some of the puzzles will require you to use the motion controls um, by, you know, twisting or turning the Wii Remote in certain directions in order to solve the puzzle. The presentation is satisfying. The island is nicely detailed and truly does give off this mysterious vibe to it. The graphics shine in the still images. I think they look great. Um, they're highly detailed and just full of all these random objects. But as you're exploring the island, you will notice some issues with the textures. It's nothing too drastic, but it is still noticeable. Mulgrave's voice is the only voice that you'll hear throughout the game, and to be honest, it's not that great. The voice acting feels a little forced. However, I did like the fact that when Mulgrave tries to contact you throughout the game, he'll call you and his voice can be heard on the Wii Remote. Now, this isn't something new. This has been done in other Wii games, but it was a cool little feature that I found interesting. Everyone has abandoned me and my island. Overall, Mystery Case Files The Mulgrave Incident is a good game, but I realize this isn't the type of game that everyone will want to play. Surprisingly, this game does offer a lengthy story mode and there's also a local multiplayer mode that can be played. Now unfortunately, you can't play the story along with a friend. There's no co-op in this game. But the multiplayer mode allows you to go in with a friend and you guys can see who's the fastest person that can find certain items hidden throughout the images. We all know that we're getting close to the end of the Wii's life cycle, and there's a lot of great games out there for the system. Is Mystery Case Files, The Mulgrave Incident, one of the games that defines the Wii library? No, it's not. Plain and simple, it's not. But I do recommend you guys give this game a shot. 
The game's relaxing, it's easy to pick up and play, and it even has some charm that just might win you over. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll check you next time.